Right, so my phone did exactly what I was worried it would do and it cut off at about six minutes. So um, carrying on from where we were before, um, this is not the normal here. <laughs> um, okay, we do have an unexpected guest <laughs> who's kind of ruining our video on reflection. So I'm just going to move this ever so slightly over here. Um, and <laughs> pussycat, come over here. Um, and remember that the normal needs to be at 90 degrees to the surface where the ray is hitting it. And as I was saying, um, this is clearly 90 degrees. You can see that it, it says that there. Um, so if I put it at 90 degrees, <laughs> at 90 degrees, to where the ray hits the surface. Uh, there we go. I couldn't put it over here because that's not where the ray of light is hitting the surface. Okay, okay. I would have to put it um, there because that's where the instant ray hits the surface. Okay, so um, I would do my dotted line uh, along here and that would be my normal. So not this, but this. Um, Let's do another example then. I'm going to draw some random shape. Um, what should we do? Um, let's do let's do a triangle. I I really should use a ruler. Um, let's do a triangle. Sort of triangle anyway. Well, it is because it's got three sides, but. It's not a perfectly equilateral triangle. That's not half bad. Um, and here is my incoming ray. Let's say my incoming ray c comes down like this. There we go. Now, the ray of light is hitting the surface at this point. So I know that's where my normal needs to go. Um, and it needs to be at 90 degrees to the actual surface. So there we go. 90 degrees. That would be my normal. Can you see that? That's 90 degrees there. So that's another example. Um, we'll do more on this when I do a lesson on refraction. Um, but that's a, about two lessons away. Um, so that's how you draw a normal. Um, and that helps you with knowing where the line's going to reflect. So when we're talking about reflection, you know where it's going to reflect. And the reason you know that is because of the law of reflection which says the uh, the incident angle is the same as the uh, angle of reflection so the incident angle is always the angle between the incident ray and the normal not the incident ray and um, the object that it's hitting in this case the mirror but between the incident ray and the normal um, so this would be my angle of incidence. So I'm going to put an I there for incidence. Now I know because of the law of reflection that the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection. So I know that my reflected ray is going to have the same angle as this. So let's say that's my reflected ray there. It happens to conveniently be where I've kind of drawn my, my non-normal normal. Um, Annoyingly, that's not always going to be the case. It's because I drew my instant uh, ray at 45 degrees. Um, so those two should be the same. So it's never going to come off over here. Your reflected ray of light will never come off over here. It's not going to come off over there. Okay, because that angle is not the same as that. And that angle is not the same as that either. So law... How much time have we got? Uh, the law of reflection uh, I should say states that the angle of incidence uh, equals angle of reflection yeah I did put an R there angle of reflection um, so remember that 
Uh, what else do you, where's the rest of my, my core questions gone? So we talked about the normal, we've done how you would draw a normal, uh, we talked about reflected rays, we've talked about, um, yeah, we've actually done all of the question, the core questions for part one of reflection. Um, so your next lesson will be on part two and then I'll talk about reflection just a little bit further. Um, if I still have a bit of time, just to make sure you understand, here's my mirror. There we go. Um, let's say I've got an angle coming in here. This would be my normal here. We obviously need a, um, a protractor to make sure that is uh, 90 degrees. I've just done it roughly. Um, and then if I wanted to know where my line's going to reflect, my ray of light, then make sure, don't forget to draw your direction. Then I would measure this angle here, my angle of incidence. Let's pretend that is, um, let's pretend it's 55 degrees. Then I would measure 55 degrees this way. Again, I'm making it up. Then that would be my reflected ray there. Um, if you have anything at home that maybe shines just a ray of light, I doubt you do. But if you do, then you can actually get a mirror. You can you can place it on some paper. You can shine your ray of light along it. This is what we would have done at school if we could if we could be at school. A ray of light hitting the mirror, and then uh, you could measure. You could draw in your uh, your normal. Measure that angle. Then you could even you could predict where it will uh, be reflected using the law of reflection and then you can actually see that it does the angles are the same the angle here would be the same as the angle there um but unfortunately we just we can't because we're not at school so i don't have all of the equipment that i would need to show you that um yes that's it